Squid Homo Squad. It's your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And we back with Luaster with a new video called Hip Hop Has a Problem with God. And hey, all I can say is, hold on, let me just mute my phone before any you know what comes along and such. All I can say is with a <laughs> if I have one thing in such, right? The one thing when it comes to hip hop and such, as much as I listen to it, right? <laughs> with many things about how there's rituals and shit where you have to sell your sell your soul and such, and the six 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 shit. Nah, you can keep that. I still listen to my hip hop here and there and such, but if anyhow when it involves about the devil, I mean hell, I mean. Shit, even from when, even if as you see behind me and such with the thumbnail and such, with the likes of freaking Playboy Cardi, Lil Nas X and such. Hell, and look, the, the fact that the three, if you, like you see behind me, right? The fact that three of them, Uzi, Cardi, and Lil Nas X, these niggas be wanting to pull up. And look, with Lil Uzi, he always want to say about how, oh, my, my mama did, my mama knows me and this and that. Look, I ain't trying to say your mama is ignorant and all. I ain't trying to say that whatsoever, but my nigga, to me, you're full of BS. Cause ain't no way I'm finna put no <laughs> type of Satanism or whatever on that shit. <laughs> and the description where it reads, we look at rappers who've turned their backs on God and see how this shit got getting out of control. Hey, couldn't agree more. So let's see how many rappers have done that. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into the video. With rappers like Ice Spice throwing up devil signs while wearing an upside down cross at the Super Bowl and NBA Youngboy saying he signed his deal in blood letters on a song with E-40, it's no secret that hip hop has become extremely extremely demonic in recent years, and the trend is only getting worse. It's your boy Luesta, and today we're going to be talking about man, hip-hop's man dark actually shows his fame. Satanism. Fame. Man actually shows his face, well, for me and such. I don't know if he's done it before in the past, because from the certain reactions that I've seen, he normally doesn't show his face, but... <laughs> Luesta, I know you see it. I know you probably going to see this, my boy, because you follow me on Twitter. And A, to me, this is my first time actually seeing your face and such in one of your videos. So, hey, shout outs to you to put your face up there. By the way, and today we're going to be talking about hip hop's dark connection to Satanism. Claiming to be a rock star and boasting heroes like Marilyn Manson and Gigi Allen, who always pushed the boundaries of decency, one man who majorly leaned into this was Lil Uzi. During his rise to fame, Uzi leaned into a gothic look, and a big part of that was his use of the Upside Down Cross. Not only does he literally have a song named Upside Down Cross, but he literally has one tatted on his tongue. His name, Lil Uzi Vert, also sounds eerily similar to Lucifer, and tons of his tracks express his infatuation with the dark side. Over time... Okay, I don't think... I think that one is a little bit stretched that his name literally sounds like Lucifer, Lil Uzi Vert. If you like slow it down and such, Lucifer, Lil Uzi Vert. In a way, it sounds like it, but it really doesn't. So I kind of get what he's saying, but to me, it don't really sound like it. Now the one with the tongue and such, and literally the song called Upside Down Crosses and such. Yeah, I can see that with a capital. I can agree with that, no problem similar to Lucifer, and tons of his tracks express his infatuation with the dark side. Over time, this became such a big thing that it caused conflict between himself and his bad and bougie collaborator, Offset from the Migos. All y'all nigga went upside down cross. Even my little partners, man. Stop that shit, boy. You look like it. Yeah. All that worship the devil hey. shit. He was mm -hmm. God, man. In response. And it's crazy. The And you and that's so crazy that you got the me you got one of the Migos who's saying that. Not to saying that they don't do crazy shit too. But think about it. 
Have you ever seen the Migos in many of their songs? Whether they're talking about trapping, this and that and such. What do you always hear them sing? In you go, you gonna always hear them rapping about God and such. Or I mean, hell, Offset literally has a song called "Say My, Say My Grace" or something about grace and such, right? He literally has a song called that and such. So, hey, one thing's for sure: the Migos ain't with that devil shit. Mm -mm. All that worship the devil shit. He was gone, uh -huh. man. In response, Uzi shared a photo of satanic imagery tagging Offset as if he was trying to get a reaction out of him. And although Offset's response seemed like he was genuinely concerned about Uzi's spiritual well-being, writing, I'll pray for you, Uzi has continued to steer into this narrative. At one point, he basically even told his fans that if he was on the path to hell, then they would be following him. Did I sell my soul? I sold my soul for you. Now figure that out. Tell my that I sell my soul, nah. I sell my soul for you. For all you motherfuckers that's on here, that's asking me that I sell my soul, why the fuck is y'all on here if y'all think I sold my soul? Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. However, the same fans he was referring to were quick to correct him in the comments. Nah, I'm good fam. My soul and life belongs to Jesus Christ. I'm not going to hell, I'm with Jesus. As opposed to shedding this image over time, it's something that Uzi has kept up to the point that his fans have begun to lose their patience. What's wrong with this dude? He's literally repping Satan right in front of our eyes. But here's where the major divide in hip hop comes in. Because for every rap fan who fears that their soul could be put in jeopardy by listening to his music, there's just... And it's so crazy that at the time and such, right? When Uzi was coming up, he, we all bumped into we all bumped to his songs like the You Was Right, the Canadian Goose and all that, and My Money Longer and such. I feel like around 2017 or so, he started to go with the Satan look and whatnot, like the emo rock star look, and then later on be doing the devil shit. Yeah. Why is it that, man, and it becomes a trend you, as you because see Because for every such. rap fan who fears that their soul could be put in jeopardy by listening to his music, there's just as many who think that he's only doing it for shock value in sales. Real answer, he has an upcoming album. So he does stupid shit like this for attention. It's a pattern with him. In the same way that other rappers start beefing for promotion, he resorts to the stupid childish shit. However, in recent years, Uzi is far from the only rapper who's been viewed as capitalizing off satanic rituals. And you can argue that no one quite compares to the controversy that Lil Nas X found himself in when he decided to align yep. himself with the dark side. If you were around in 2020, you probably remember the- yep. Freaking Montero. Was it Montero? Yeah. That nigga. You want to talk about, boy, did he ever- And you, cra and you know what's the craziest thing is? He was trying to troll the Christians and shit. In, when he decided to align himself with the dark side. If you were around in 2020, you probably remember the uproar over Lil Nas X's Call Me By Your Name, which had a music video featuring no, him call giving me by the devil a lap dance. Lap dance. Nick, I got you. Montero, he's still called Montero, but... Lil Nas is gay. Oh, let me stop. The release of... Nah, you ain't gotta be, let me stop. Nigga, he is, but damn. But nigga, I don't even give a damn if he's gay. But nigga, to, cause you always get those people where they saying about how old oh, gay people are gonna go to hell and such. Nah, nigga, you got gay people right now and such. Even they won't do this type of shit. <laughs> like, come on now, you think gay? Man, nah. <laughs> Trust me. To me, hear me out when I say this. There's a lot more things people have done way worse. The people who have done way worse than just being gay, they going to hell. Y'all want to talk about him just because he's gay and such, he's going to hell and such? Nah, nigga. To me, with the video, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. The video, I'm not talking about that. There's people on this herd who has done. I'm reacting. Sorry, y'all. I saw my one of my parents foot pulled up. But yeah, like I was saying, 
there's a lot more people, a lot more sickos out there that has done some nasty, some nasty idiotic things, psychotic things on this earth. So with Lil Nas doing this shit, like he just said, this is doing it for shock value and such. So we were expecting that. But outside, but when you look at, but when you look at other people in the world and such, trust me. To me, when Lil Nas is doing this, is it still crazy? Yes. But I must say, is he is he worse than what other people have done in the have done in their lifetime? Like some really real sick twisted shit? Hm. Nigga, please. To this, to me, I feel like this is light. Honest to God. <laughs> That's how I feel. But y'all let me know. Look, Nas is gay. Oh, let me stop. The release of sneakers marked with 666 that literally got him sued by Nike. With Lil Nas X basically becoming an overnight star, the devil-themed music video made people think he sold his soul to receive fame and fortune. And all of that caused such mass hysteria that when he was set to perform on the BET Awards, he was only allowed to do so after he, quote, gave assurances that he was not a Satanist or devil worshiper, and that his performance would be appropriate for their audience. He even threatened to sample rants from preachers who were calling him the devil. Some wicked stuff. But since then, Lil Nas X has proven that he's no devil worshipper and that he'll just True. use any religious imagery he could get his hands on for shock yeah. value. This was extremely evident when he dropped his new video for Jay Christ, which basically followed the same formula, only this time, yeah. he tried to make it seem like he converted to the religion, tweeting things like, making Christian music does not mean I can't fuck it no more. The two are not mutually exclusive. I am allowed to get on my knees for multiple reasons. It's clear that this time, the Come publicity on. stunt simply did not work in his favor. As where Call Me By Your Name was a smash hit that racked up over 275 million views on YouTube, Jay Christ just got 18 mil before disappearing off everyone's radar. For Lil Nas X, yeah. it was obvious that his commitment to the look was purely to use the chaos generated by conservative media and its followers losing their minds to head to the top of the charts. But for other rappers, such as XXXTentacion, there's been debates about whether their connections ran a little deeper, and there's speculation nah, that before his death, he tried to sacrifice his best friend and fellow rapper Ski Math the Slump God due to his connection with the devil. Complete with tracks like I Spoke to the devil in Miami, he said everything would be fine, where he details selling his soul and the dark imagery which surrounded his music and public persona. There were those who felt that XXXTentacion was in league with the satanic world. This has resulted in numerous videos and reddit threads just dedicated to proving that X had struck a deal, with many people pointing to the lyrics of the closing track of his last album he released in his lifetime as a sign that he was trying to get his soul back before death stating, Before I lay me down asleep, I pray to Lord my soul to keep. I hope it's not too late for me. But while using satanic imagery in your music is one thing, what sets X apart is that even his peers in the industry were fearful of what he was capable of. For example, Ugly God, a fellow rapper who was on the XXL 2017 freshman class cover with him, once had a verbal dispute with X and asked him not to set a demon on him. Don't summon no demon on me, bro. Everybody tell me from the summon the demon. Oh. Even though he wasn't entirely convinced, he thought he was better safe than sorry. While Ugly God keeping his distance from X is one thing, what was even more intriguing was that one of X's closest friends, Ski Mask the Slump God, also felt the need to separate himself over some of the stuff that X was allegedly into. After they stopped collaborating, Ski Mask explained why he stepped away. This is a person who has threatened my family, told me I was supposed to be sacrificed on some crazy shit. So no, I didn't separate myself for no reason. After all of that went down, it led to a very interesting conversation on everyday struggle where joe budden basically implied that things like this may have gone down in the past in order for x to obtain success never really heard fans with this rhetoric what do you hear it from other artists heard some other people well, let's look at it this way okay in fraternities they have initiation initiation yeah. they have it as well i have heard that in some clubs they request this is the sacrifice. The, the, the oh, he in, meant sacrifice. The induction. Now, it sounds very weird and satanic and nuts. I'm shutting up. Yeah, I'm. I'm Cool, I haven't heard anything. A rapper who also prophesized his own death several times, it's unclear whether X ever made a deal with a dark entity. But when it comes to worshiping the devil, it's not just a newer generation of rappers. This trend of referencing satanic elements has been present for a very long time, with several rappers yeah. from the past attempting to hmm. shed light on the darker aspects of Yeah, y'all think y'all think it's just only the y'all just only think it was the younger generation doing it? I guarantee you back in the old nigga. And I guarantee you, and it's a good thing that he touched it here saying, you thought, it, 
now that because I know people are going to say this newer generation of rappers talking about the satan and such nah nigga stuff like this has been here for a long time so don't think it's just only the younger generation the newer generation doing that shit it's been present for a long time you just haven't seen it for a very long time with several rappers from the past attempting to shed light on the darker aspects of the industry even old school rappers like eminem have made countless amounts of rhymes about the devil and he can be heard in songs like say goodbye to hollywood literally saying the words Let's not forget the song My Darling, a song which many people believe oh, Eminem yeah. is basically talking to the devil in the third verse. Other rappers, like the late DMX, also claim that he had been approached several times by forces beyond our comprehension. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and um, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. You know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe or you know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil. You know? I think you've had three, conversations with, three conversations with the devil. Why with the devil? Well, to make a fair decision, I think you have to be aware of both sides. And I was approached, so of course I had a conversation. It, mean I, it doesn't mean I rode with him sure. or believed him. I just was able to recognize him by what he said to me and what he offered me. Oh, now I know you are. That's why I stopped talking to him. I've been out seven hours. In DMX's case, it's not clear whether he's specifically referring to a person or an organization, but in the case of Noriega from the Drink Champs, he strongly implied that he was promised success beyond his wildest dreams if he promised to align with a certain group. And when he didn't comply, his career took a downturn. You know, I've, I was approached, I was where a person asked me, yo, such and such, and I was... I mean, I mean, think about it. Think about it like this. If you know you were guaranteed guaranteed just already success right it's some illuminati shit because we've been i know it's i know it's like been a long time since people are saying about illuminati and such but let's be honest it's still here it's still there because the thing is with the hip-hop industry yeah people would think People will think about how the good sides of hip hop are, which is true, right? I can't say it's not true. But then sometimes you gotta really, out, whether it's your favorite rapper or not, you gotta really look into a certain shit that they do and such in order to be successful. And somehow, if anyhow, they didn't, because they might be doing the right things to be successful and such, but as soon as when one particular thing that they had to do, which was this and such, and they didn't want to do it. You see how quick they go from rising up, and since they didn't want to do the thing, goes down. He promised to align with a certain group, and when he didn't comply, his career the took a downturn. You know, I I was approached. I was where a person asked me, "Yo, such and such," and I was just like, "Nah, like." You know, yeah, you, you probably make it to where you make it on your own. Right. But a lot of people will offer you something to, to sustain it. I don't know if it was that person or if this was a whole entity that came with it. Mm. But I was offered something and I just wasn't with it. Mm. But when they said, good luck, young man, you're on your own. And I never went platinum since. And while rappers like DMX and Noriega have spoken about how they avoided joining up with the devil or organizations associated with shadowy rituals like the Illuminati, Jay-Z, on the other hand, is a man who's had to fend off accusations of being a follower of the devil. At one point, there was even an unofficial street DVD being sold which labeled him the master mason of hip-hop in reference to his alleged connections to Freemasonry. That's because there was a lot of speculation that Jay-Z was with the occult. Hove has spent years trying to claim that he wasn't involved in anything evil, such as the time he said this on an MTV interview. I gotta remind people, I'm from Marcy Projects. I can't even get into a golf club in Palm Springs. As one of the most influential figures in hip hop, it's his remarkable success that raises eyebrows amongst his critics. And many speculate that there were definitely some unseen forces supporting him behind the scenes. So when I see Jay-Z, what does this mean? What does this mean? Sometimes, look, people need to realize, just be, I don't care if it's, if it's your favorite rapper, this and then the third, nine times out of ten, sometimes you gotta think 
how in the world did they get so big like that? I mean, hell, look at Diddy's shit. From the many shit, from the many... Because let's be honest. Have you ever... Ooh, sorry. Have you ever think of Diddy rising to the success that he has through his, like, music and shit? Because we all know that nigga's not a... Well, for me personally... We never hear about him rapping good and whatnot. Well, not to say if he don't rap good, but we never heard about him being praised for his rapping or anything like that. Or for his production, if he does do production. I don't know. But somehow, he has always been on the top of everything when it comes to hip-hop. And you, and I guarantee you, he had to do a lot of things with the certain shit that we know now and such but going into his career and such he had to do a lot of things to be on the top of where he was no diddy <laughs> and I feel like with Jay-Z maybe he is maybe he isn't so hey it is what it is some unseen forces supporting him behind the scene so when I see Jay-Z what does this mean what does this mean what does this mean you're not no gang member you got checkerboard floors in your shit. You got skull and bones. You, what does this mean? You look at Cardi B's album cover. It's checkerboard. You look at Dream Dog. Now she's the checkerboard too. These motherfuckers sell their soul. They practice with. What, what does the checkerboard mean? It means mind control. So you got classical conditioning and you got operational conditioning. So what they do is they use they use programming. But as we have moved from one era of hip hop to the next, a strange thing happened. As Jay-Z has actively tried to stop the speculation that he's a devil worshiper, there are rappers today who actively fed into the imagery. But are they just doing it to get a reaction or for a deeper, darker reason? Well, when it comes to a rapper named NBA Youngboy, it was the opposite of a publicity stunt. And speaking on this issue caused his career to decline drastically. Alongside a discography that's filled with tracks including I'm a Demon, Demon Seed, Demon Time, and more, NBA Youngboy's career has been filled with speculation that he's maybe been contacted by the underworld. Among all of his bars that have caused concern, none have done so more than his lyrics in 2018's Traumatized, where he seemed to suggest that he refused to offer up his child and seemingly predicted COVID. Since then, Youngboy has been increasingly open about don't tell me this nigga predicted the, the, the COVID. What the? F Don't tell me young boy Kurt was the one who predicted this shit. Well, there's many other people who was predict. I've seen that there's many other people who has predicted certain shit too. Especially when it came to 2020 with the COVID and all that and such. <laughs> hey, I still stand by my point when I said with 2020 has been one of the craziest years ever. Not just in hip hop, but just anything. Whether it's hip hop, whether it's sports, whether it's celebrities, anything. That year, shit was going crazy. Since then, Youngboy has been increasingly open about what's really going on, only to then claim he was talking too much. It's a, it's a, it's a, the mind industry that I chose to be a part of. So, like, I, I accept that I'm a mate, but don't be a, 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 a dominant at the same time. You gotta understand that he was me as entertainment, and this shit would come self destruction too. Because mm -hmm. I ain't no entertainment. You know, some shit can be spoke on. Why? My that shit is, is to be continued. Since 2019. To I'm gonna save my final thoughts. Youngboy has been confronting the industry and not being afraid to air out the destructive forces that go on behind the scenes at his label. Now stuck in whatever scenario he's created for himself, Youngboy is now at the point where his sales have been on a steady decline and probably contemplating whether or not his metaphorical deal with the devil was worthwhile. But what's interesting is that after so many years of the audience entertaining the satanic imagery, it's become an increasingly hard sell where the supposed shock value of the devilish imagery isn't paying off anymore. For instance, when Travis Scott made his decision to dabble in imagery associated with masonry and similar things, it actively stopped him from being able to perform in Egypt in front of the pyramids because of, quote, images and documented information on the strange rituals, which violated their customs. Meanwhile, for others like Cardi and Uzi, people basically think it's just becoming cringe. What made me realize, I'm like, yo, this thing is approaching 30, 
and he's still trying to jack the devil thing was Uzi doing the I Wanna Rock while dressed in all red with some devil looking hair. This shit right here. I'm sorry, yeah. bro. Once I seen this shit, I was just like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. It don't, it don't even hit the same when he's wearing this shit. I'm sorry, it don't. Cause at one point everybody was dancing to it, but when I see this nigga dressing in all red like this with his hairs out that and those damn red contacts he has, and he's like, bro, honest to God, tell me you don't think that don't look a little bit like back up, nigga, cause. At one point, we was all dancing with him and such. But my nigga now, especially with you wearing this type of shit, I'm sorry. No, thank you. We, with all due respect to Uzi, but nah, nigga. Back your ass up. Because look at this. I'm sorry, bro. Once I seen this shit, I was just like, yo. Brother, I ain't gonna lie to you. Even the devil want to send you to hell. And not his version of hell. For this shit. <laughs> Damn. Like brother, nah, 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 brother, nah, nah, brother, nah, 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 nah. It was cool when we thought y'all were mysterious. We yeah. all realized y'all are regular people trying to be counterculture to get kids to buy in. All right, we get it. It worked for a while, but here's the funny thing: y'all are all huge and successful. You're not SoundCloud rappers no more. Give it up. Yeah, really think about it. Y'all is not the SoundCloud. We are not in that SoundCloud era no more. Even though it was a good era. Don't get it twisted. It was a good era from like 2015 to 2019. Or for me, more like 2015 to 2018. Y'all was good at... It was a good era. For like younger generation and us and whatnot. It was a good era, but nigga... We passed that era now. That era is long and gone. Nobody even uses well, certain people still use it, but majority of people don't even use SoundCloud no more. Why do you think we've moved to like the likes of Spotify and Apple Music and such? So hey, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I mean hell, I at one point, I know I would. Every, I'm, like I said, everybody at one point was using Spotify. I mean, SoundCloud and such. But nowadays, motherfuckers are transitioned into like Apple Music or Spotify. Hell, I'm. I know I'm using Spotify a lot. Y'all are all huge and successful. You're not SoundCloud rappers no more. Give it up. Give it up. For academics had harsh words for Lil Uzi. He felt the same for Playboy Cardi after he got a tattoo where he labeled himself Satan. Because at a certain point, it's just not going to have the same impact anymore. I'm not a religion buff, and nor do I feel like any artist needs to be like just fucking praise, praising God all over the place. But when y'all do these imagery and knowing the influence y'all have, you're 25, and I know you might try to, you know, like you're still a kid, but it's over in terms of you're grown. We all have responsibilities at this point. When y'all put out these images, <clears throat> my whole point is that be down to have a conversation about it. Your music isn't substantive enough to prove what you're tr what, what imagery you're trying to master. Yeah, like, what it comes. Because let's be honest, with all due respect to Playboy Cardi and such nigga, when you have all these shits on you and such, your music really doesn't translate to that. It really doesn't. Because I don't give a damn. Be real with yourself. For peep, and it's so crazy, right? That whenever Playboy Cardi drops any music, this man be getting numbers on numbers on numbers. Even though we don't know what the fuck he's saying most of the times, it's just crazy that you got this type of fan base where a nigga. This nigga got numbers like crazy. He hasn't, but before this, he hasn't dropped music in over like four years or so. And then as soon as when he first dropped music back in 2023, at December of 2023, you see how quick them numbers was going crazy. But still, comes across that comes across as is that you're so desperate trying to be edgy 
you're trying to make people feel like you're anti-culture, anti-religion, anti-God as much as you can see. But I've always wondered and I've begged. I think the closest person would have done it was X. Accused of not really living what they're repping, Cardi and Uzi's use of occultist imagery is only going to get increasingly worse as time goes on. Likewise, this is why people like Trippy Red, who's had a 666 tattoo on his head for years, is now actively fighting. Bro, I don't worship fucking devil. I don't know why you keep saying that shit like stop saying i worship the devil bro like what the fuck i can't wear all black that it's well look hey nothing is wrong with wearing all black but the thing is to me well let me hear him i've been wearing all black that's my thing like i just don't get it like stop saying i worship the fucking devil cleanse cleanse these people hard too god because man like sitting here judging somebody and bullying them is the new, you know, standard. Now that the satanic panic. Now, here was, now, you know what? Let me make it's actively putting something. people off rather than making people want to engage with the content. Some of these artists are backpedaling or fully explaining their intentions. While Uzi and Cardi like to keep the mystique around them like the 3 6 Mafia have done in the past, you now have people like Doja Cat who dressed up yeah. as a demon in a new video and literally admit that it was only for the aesthetic. So I chose that visual and I applied it to the sound, and people made up what they want, which is what you do with art. You, you interpret it. Means, it. Yeah, you interpret it how you want to interpret it. Everybody has the right to interpret it how they want. Wants, but this whole like you're a Satanist very confident Satanism thing is like I'm sorry when the fuck did I say that I was a Satanist when did I ever say anything or even go marching outside outside the church talking about no when the fuck did I say that anyway it's just it's really it's really tacky and annoying and fucking discredits a lot of the hard work that I put in but didn't you just say anybody in, can interpret it no matter how they feel? And you're saying that it's tacky and annoying enough when they're saying it like that? Well, here's a thought. Let me wait till it's Whether or not you think there's something sinister off. going on, or if it's just an attempt at marketing themselves as edgy, satanic imagery has become as common in hip hop as it used to be in rock and roll. The real question is whether it will remain <laughs> profitable crazy. or just fuel more conspiracy theories. Because as rappers mature, the initial shock value fades, and it leaves us to wonder if those who have hinted at secret deals will eventually face the consequences of their supposed eternal debts. Hmm. Hey, shout out to the Waster, another phenomenal song in this song. Phenomenal video and such. I'm gonna make sure I give my boy a like. Alright, so here's my thing and such, right? If you for many of them who always wanna defend themselves saying I don't worship the devil, I don't worship this and that and the third. For when Trippy Red saying about how he loves to wear black, that's his thing. Cool. Not saying nothing's wrong with that. But when you keep on doing it every single time, and not just in your songs, but in certain imagery that you post on social media and such, can you blame motherfuckers for saying that you probably do deal with the Satanism? And for Doja Cat, like I just said, like you said, you can interpret anything that you put out and such, right? People can do that interpret it can think about how it is whatever they wanted to think about it, how it is right but you cannot go and say it's tacky and corny and annoying when they saying that you're a saintness and such when you keep on when majority and like I said not just in music videos but in certain shit that you'll be either posting on social media and such like you wearing freaking all red, literally like an all red thing to a gala event or so. To me, this is how I, this is my final thing on this. And I'm going to end this video right here. If you don't want people to think you're not with the Satanism shit. Or you don't, and you don't worship the devil and such. Here's the thing. Like DJ Academic saying. And most of the times people don't even agree with that nigga. But he's speaking facts when he say, nigga. Y'all used to want to do it when y'all was young and up and coming and such, and you wanted to feel edgy. Cool. Not not saying it's right, but if you wanted to feel edgy and such, hey, do as you please. But when you know that you're already now sp 
huge you are successful you will have a lot of money got a lot of records and this and that when you're already as successful as you is now right you don't need to go back to those type of tactics or marketing thing where you're basically wearing basically praising the Satan rituals and so Satanism and what's not that's how I feel about it. so if you don't want people to say that you're not a Satanist or you're doing or you're sold your soul to the devil and whatnot stop putting it in your music that's all you can do but I, but hey like I but it's like this who am I to tell somebody how, how they do their music but at the end of the day if you keep on doing that type of thing where you think you're acting all mysterious and such when really nigga it's getting corny to the point where nigga like I said you already successful you don't need to do that shit no more people can still be, be mysterious and such but it depends on how you are doing the mysterious type of thing but either way shout out to the waste hopefully y'all enjoy y'all let me know what y'all thought think about this down in the comments below and let me know your, your opinions of this whole Satanism thing and such in hip-hop will it go away will it keep on happening or will people realize will the artists realize that they need to cut that shit out now you let me know in the comments below but it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up I'm out